According to the Kernodal Center for Service Learning and Community Engagement, last school year over 2,600 students completed over 127,000 service hours. Our Ashley Boley found an organization that examines not only Elon's participation in service and, civ service and civic engagement, but also other colleges around the state. on your way to the tennis courts. A quaint white house with a gravel parking lot nested away from all the usual brick buildings and pathways. But this isn't a home to students. It's the home to Campus Compact, a national organization that unifies college students and staff in promoting volunteerism. Our mission is to um, help higher education um, return to their public purposes is the way that we talk about it. So what that means is civic engagement, um, service learning, connecting with the community, um, and helping students become citizens. This organization is available in 34 states, but North Carolina's Compact was founded by President Leo Lambert in 2003 and works with 34 other colleges across the state. We're there to also help them become citizens and help the local community be better by using our resources. By partnering with the Kernodal Center, Campus Compact is the bridge between faculty and students. We. Um, actually are doing something in the community that improves the community. And some resources include providing grants, training sessions on how to be an engaged citizen, and conferences held on NC Compact campuses throughout the school year for students and faculty to discuss service learning. So our goal really is to help the campus be the best they can be in this area. While North Carolina Campus Compact is not physically going out, and doing the service, Garvin says she still feels like she's helping others. Ashley Boley, ELN Morning. And while Campus Compact has been helping the Elon community for the last 15 years, we found one professor who has been lifting the community for the last 28. Our McKinsey Murray met one retiring professor who worked on more than just her research while teaching at Elon. From perfecting scholarly articles to perfecting her student papers, Dr. Anne Boleyn is a versatile anthropology professor nearing the end of her 28 years at Elon. I have started by thinking of retirement as really graduation and not retirement. Because the word like retiring means you're sort of sitting back and you're not engaged. And I see myself as being very engaged. Not only is Bolin engaged through her teaching and her anthropological research in transgender studies, she is also an avid bodybuilder, a hobby that was sparked by her initial research interests. We've got people that are resisting notions of ideal, quote, femininity or emphasized feminine bodies, and I love them. I, wow, I've got to study this. She studied this through participant observation, which is defined by Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a research technique in which anthropologists gain entrance into a foreign culture in order to attain an understanding of the internal structure of the society. By the experience and the visceral experience of knowing what it feels like to get on a stage when you are dieted, dehydrated and extremely tired but extremely on and ready and anxious and excited that that would give me a incredible insights. Although she has fully immersed herself in the bodybuilding community, Bolin says she has found no greater community than the one at Elon University. I will always stay affiliated with Elon as my home, as my identity, as my identity as an anthropologist as well. Mackenzie Murray, ELN Morning. And retirement does not mean relaxation for Bolin. She plans to travel, continue teaching winter term courses at Elon, write more articles, and of course join at least one more bodybuilding competition.